Hey there hikers, Sloth and Dreamer back on trail this weekend. We're just south of the Jenningston Bridge and this is a point where you have to make a decision whether you're taking the regular trail or the high water alternate. Now this weekend there is the potential for some heavy rains so we're as a precaution we're taking the high water route which means we'll be going straight as we go south from Jenningston Bridge. Otherwise you would go on the Gladwin route which is to my right. Now for this portion we are going southbound even though our general hike is northbound but we'll be heading southbound back to where we parked a vehicle earlier today. We'll see you on the trail. Hey there hikers, we're giving you an update now. Um, we've reached the intersection of the Allegheny Trail and the High Water Alternate. Now we came southbound, we're headed southbound today, we came southbound over the hill and come down the road on the High Water Alternate, which is in this direction. The uh, 
regular Allegheny trails in this direction, but we're continuing south, which is actually that direction. So you got three legs coming together here. And this one comes along and follows the body of water southbound. So we're assuming this will get us back to where the van was parked this morning. So we'll see you on the trail. So we were told by Doug Wood early in our hike that there was a lot of uh, road walks in the northern section of the of the trail and that's turned out to be true so far. Right now we're coming off a road walk. You can make decent miles but it's a little harder on your joints and you have to dodge some traffic but it wasn't too bad this morning. So we're going back on a Forest Service Road which I believe is Forest Service Road 240 and it'll be more compatible with what we had at the beginning of our hike. Thank you. 
Close up of our extravagant lunch crackers and peanut butter. We were gonna eat earlier, but uh, Mother Nature had different designs. We had to hold off. We got that big rain that uh, had been threatening today. We had a light rain earlier, right when we started climbing a hill and got out of the easy road bed, it started raining. Had to put on the ponchos and delay our feast until now. So Dream was eating stone ground crackers with peanut butter, where I had tortilla. I think she might have a better idea because with the tortilla, peanut butter just sticks right in my throat. <laughs> Requires extra water to wash it down. What do you think about our hike today, Dreama? It's pretty easy until we had to hit that off the railroad and it was pouring the rain mm -hmm. and it was muddy. Yeah, we made good mileage on the pavement mm -hmm. and uh, we probably saw more deer while we were walking the pavement than we had during our, our entire Allegheny Trail trip. The deer were everywhere, but they were very, very spooky. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't let us getting any pictures at all kept showing us their rear ends running off through the woods seen a lot of bear sign we did see a beaver dam a lot of tracks may have been from beavers or otters or something like that small bear tracks large bear tracks uh, runs the gamut but um Right now we're coming back down from our elevation gain and I'm assuming we're going back into the railroad bed and we'll do our last leg of this trip till we get back to Highway 33. So, we'll see you on the trail. several times. We still had an enjoyable hike. We did got a lot of miles because of the road walk and the railroad bed. It made it a little bit easier. There were some steep areas and uh, that hit us right when the rain started hitting pretty hard. So uh, it wasn't, wasn't an easy hike altogether but but we enjoyed it and uh, we were southbound this time. We're going to decide what we're going to do for tomorrow. We're going to camp out along the trail somewhere kind of car camping and then just take another day hike tomorrow so just another example of how you can get this trail hiked um, where there's a wheel there's a trail we'll see you down the trail
Hey there, hikers. We got some of our favorite miles in this afternoon. Bonus miles. After we finished up at the US 33 trailhead, we came back up the road and stopped at a convenience store and grabbed a couple of sandwiches. And Dreamer had a burst of energy and decided that she wanted to hike another three and a half miles. So we stopped up the road and it was another road walk about between three and three and a half miles back to where we started this morning. So here we are at the Gladwin Roadside and we got bonus miles. So that'll be a little bit shorter distance we have to go tomorrow and we have the potential to finish up section two. So we'll see you on the trail. Hey there hikers, Sloth and Dreamer are at Blackwater Falls State Park in West Virginia. It's a probably an overlooked state park. It's very beautiful here and there's a lot of little trails running around. One of these trails leads to the Allegheny Trail. It is the intersection between Section 1 and Section 2 of the Allegheny Trail. So we're starting at the northern terminus of Section 2 and hiking back to where we were yesterday. It's about between 10 and 11 miles, a little over 10 I believe. Uh, we've got a big elevation gain to start with and then we'll be cruising downhill and there's some road walking at the end but there's some pretty sights along the way at the beginning so we'll cue you in on the trail.
there, hikers. We've done 90% of our ascent already. In the first mile and a half, we gained 800 feet. It was a gradual climb. We were so busy watching our feet not to trip over rocks and slip in mud that we didn't notice the grade very much. But we came up through a very thick, overgrown rhododendron area. We left the park very quickly. Now we're in the Canaan Mountain area. Canaan Mountain is part of the Canaan Valley Resort area, which is known primarily for its cross-country skiing. And it's a, a beautiful area. There's a lot of ecology, e e ecological systems that are not common on the East Coast, but there's a lot of variety up here. We just got to an area where it opens up a little bit, so we thought we'd just tell you the difference between the elevation gains that we've had. So we'll see you further down the trail. Thank you. 
Hey there hikers, we finished another portion and this was the last portion of section 2. So we've completed section 4, section 3, and section 2. Um, today's hike was 10.3 miles. Um, a lot of it was in the, the boggy, muddy area of uh, Canaan Valley and Blackwater Falls State Park. Um, the grade was not bad. It's just having to watch your feet all the time to make sure you didn't fall or trip over anything. It kind of slowed us down a little bit. And then coming down the south side was not as bad. It was not quite as muddy. We had some fields, had a little bit of view. Not a lot of animals today. Um, the last 1.5 miles thereabouts was roadwalk. So um, we didn't do too bad. It's, uh, we finished up about quarter after two, started at quarter till nine. So that's another section down and hopefully we'll get the section one completed. We'll see you on the trail.